Hey guys, Rob here. Uh, not at the Oscars that I didn't have, but for Rob. Um, I'm uh, going to do a video today on update on my bug out bag, since people have been asking. Here it is. Um, as you can see, across the bottom here, I have my tent poles. And um, I have them in between uh, this. I'll, sh I'll grab the other packs that were on the bug out bag that came with it. These were on the bottom and sides. So I removed them for weight, the weight factor. And uh, so I got the tent poles in here. I went with a really minimalized amount of stuff even though I still have a ton of weight. Um, on this side I have carabiner and a, I believe this is stainless. Yeah, I'm pretty sure this is stainless steel uh, water bottle. Wide mouth as well. That way you can um, actually cook, boil water in this thing, which is kind of important. So, Uh, I wanted to do this little update because a lot of people have been asking, well, where's your survival stuff? Because you've been doing a lot of tiny house videos lately. So, in the top, I have a, this is like one of these, um, it's kind of like a tough fabric. I don't know what it is, like a nylon or something. It's pretty thick. I got this for free at the home show where I uh, saw that tiny house and did the tour. And this is kind of a backpack, so it slings over your shoulder. And then you can just carry sticks and tinder and stuff in there or whatever else you want. Put your clothes in. I got my life straw. I have leather gloves. And then I have my poncho not the dollar store poncho but the real deal from the surplus store and then this is just uh, tent instructions but <laughs> in case I forget or anybody else needs it so um, really basic guys I had to do it to cut down on the weight of the bug out bag so I'm gonna get into the other pocket now here This thing folds right up and doesn't weigh a thing, so that's kind of decent. Now, people say, oh, well, where's your food and stuff? Um, well, we'll get to that in a minute. I have about 100 feet of paracord here on the side hanging off a carabiner. Um, the only thing that's not on the back of this that goes across here as well and sticks out a little bit longer is my foam pad. And now, the main compartment, I have my mess kit uh, wrapped in some garbage bags. And inside the, um, inside the empty space of the mess kit, I have some magnesium fire starters. Um, I have my uh, all powers, and I got some extra carabiners there. All powers portable solar panel. Ta da! Four, four panels for charging, whatever, all kinds of USB devices. Um, in here, I have a emergency camping shelter, which is basically a survival blanket, large survival blanket with some cordage inside. You can actually make a tent. Oops, sorry about the glare. You can make a tent out of it, which is okay. But you'd probably just wrap yourself in it as a blanket. Um, and then also, I have uh, this big gray thing is the tent. And then in behind that, buried deep, is the mosquito net for bugs. 
so comfort inside the tent even though you don't it's not a necessary item but if you want to get a decent sleep then there you go now I'm going to probably get rid of this grill it, a lot of you might know what this is this is my uh, DIY survival stove that I made if you haven't seen those videos there's on my channel check them out I did a bunch of tests and everything um, this grill is probably going to be replaced with uh, the smaller aluminum ones. Actually, I'll show you guys. Um, <clears throat> I scored big at the dollar store. I got two pack of aluminum grill toppers in the barbecue section. So you get two of them. It's thin aluminum. But it's actually it's not that thin. It's hit pretty heavy gauge, and I can fold this out flat and cut to size, and it should replace the grill over here. So I I score. I got two, four, six um, grills, and then I can also cut to fit. I'll have to try those out on the survival stove. Here's here's here that is. So that's all that's in my bug out bag, guys. No food. No medical. Um, why did I take all that stuff out? Well, wait. If I had to carry the original pack around for a mile, I'd probably kill over with a heart attack or couldn't even do anything. So, I had to downsize and minimalize everything. So, I know if I had other people with me, I would bring everything else. Um, but then again, I'm probably just going to bug out to the tiny house. And I'll have more stuff there. So, that's probably what I'm going to be ended up doing. Um... And that way I have at least another place to go. So right now that's the um, bug out bag guy. And this has to go on as well. That's the bedroll. So I'm going to probably do it this way. Strap it on there. So when I'm out. Um, we'll figure something out. I might even put the poles inside the cavity here, um, the tent poles on the back here, just to make everything kind of a little bit better. And then um, my, I don't have any tools in the survival bag, which sucks, but it's still work in progress. Trying to get the weight down, trying to have my tools added and all that. But I do have a food survival bag, guys. If you got a lot of people didn't see that video for whatever reason, it's the one where I had the uh, crazy mask on. Oh, here's the mask right here, actually. Let me point down. So here's the notorious mask, and here is my food pack. Which smells pretty nice, actually. And this thing is loaded, dude. It's loaded with stuff. I'm not going to get into it because the video is almost over. But go back and look look it up. Uh, uh, survival food bag packed video, I believe it's called. So there's my food. There's a minimal survival bag. Uh, Buggo bag. And then the rest I'm going to have to just uh, put at the tiny house, the rest of my gear. Alright, thanks for now.